Now let's see um, if we have a person inside an elevator and um, the elevator is at rest, is not moving, what kind of forces are uh, exerting on the uh, person in the elevator is at rest. It means that there is no acceleration. Acceleration is zero. So if the acceleration is zero, it means that the sum of the forces, which means max times acceleration also, will be zero. The normal force here in the elevator is the force that the elevator's floor pushes back on you. Because one force is applying upward in the positive direction, I said that they often consider upward forces as um, positive, and the one that are downward, negative, so there is a normal force which has which is upward and the same size as the uh, downward force which is m times g or the weight of the object which is negative. As we said, the forces are balanced, so the sum of the forces should be zero. It means that if you add these two, the answer should be equal to zero. So how we can calculate the normal force? Normal force, which is positive, plus the weight of the object, which is in the negative direction, so that's why we put minus, should be equal to zero. So normal force equals to m times g. Now, I'll uh, write some questions for you, some examples to understand the concept better. Now, let's see if uh, the person is in the elevator and the elevator is speeding up and moving upward, going upward, what kind of the forces are um, exerting on the person? The first thing that we have to know is that the, uh, there is um, acceleration here, which is positive because it is upward, which is the elevator is moving up, and this, which means that the sum of the forces also should be equal to mass times acceleration. So, um, so the normal force here can be calculated by m times uh, g plus m times acceleration. And to, uh, so there is a normal force that, that which is greater, much greater than the weight of the object. Um, for better understanding, I can draw the diagram. Okay, it is moving upward. The person is standing here, so there, it has a weight, which is m times g, which is downward. There is one normal force here. There is a normal force um, in com uh, com uh, contrary to the, uh, what we said on the, uh, the object, which is resting on the uh, table, or it is uh, resting on the ramp, or whatever. On the ground, it's not moving um, because the person is still is still inside the elevator and the, it is not falling down. That's the that's the reason. There is a normal force which is uh, which doesn't let which is exerted by the uh, floor of the elevator here, and it doesn't let the person to fall down. The normal force here is much more greater than the. Um, weight of the object because it is accelerating um, upward, it is going up. So this force should be much more greater than the uh, force here. So this time we want to calculate the normal force of the first um, of the person mo uh, moving upward in an elevator with a constant velocity. If the elevator is moving with a constant velocity, it means that the speed is not changing, so we don't have acceleration because we said that the acceleration is a change in the velocity of the object. When the, when the object changes, it moves with the different velocities at each time, so it means that there is acceleration. But when there is no change in the velocity, it means that the acceleration would be zero. So here, if there is a constant velocity, it's moving upward the elevator, so in a positive direction. So uh, the direction is positive. Um, of course, the forces that are 
uh, pointing outward, they are considered as having positive value, and the one uh, that they are in the downward pointing down, they are uh, having a, a negative value. Um, so when there is no acceleration, if you put the um, acceleration to zero in this formula to uh, work out the uh, sigma f or um, the, uh, the total force, you will find that the answer and the total force will be also zero. It means that there is no uh, net force applied on the uh, object. So that's why uh, it, if it is not moving, it won't move. If it is moving, it will move with a constant velocity or speed. That is what is happening here because the forces are balanced. The forces are balanced, so that's why the sum of them becomes zero. So, the force is in the opposite direction. The positive one, which is pointing upward, it is force, the normal force, plus the force in the opposite direction, which is pointing downward, which is your weight. So, minus um, mass times gravity, it should be equal to zero. So, if you work out, again, you will find that you take you keep this one at this side and you take the, um, the weight at the other side of the equation so the uh, sign here will change into positive so it becomes normal force equals to mass times gravity so it means that the elevator will push the person back um, the force equal to um, m times g M is your mass and the dg is the gravity, which is gravitational force, which is 9.81. So this is how you can calculate the normal force here. So in the, for, in the case of the elevators, there are always normal forces because the person is considered into that frame, the frame uh, that is uh, inside uh, is uh, elevator. So the person is not falling uh, out of the elevator because the elevator is pushing uh, back on the person the same amount of the force equals to its weight so what if it is um, not moving if the elevator is not moving it is at rest so the most forces it means that should be um, equal so um, uh, there won't be any acceleration then uh, but uh, if it also is moving um, with a constant speed or velocity it means that still there is no um, acceleration and the force of the, and the normal will be same as the um, uh, uh, your weight the weight of the person which is inside the elevator but in the opposite direction of course and if, if the elevator is speeding up, uh, it means that the normal force should be much more greater than your than the um, speeding up. Sorry, speeding up and going upward. It means that the normal force is much more greater than the weight of the. Now um, let's see if the person is still in the elevator, is in the elevator, and the elevator is moving up but it's slowing down at the same time or decelerating so we have deceleration uh, what, how would be the uh, forces acting on the person? this is the diagram again so again we have net for normal force and we have uh, the weight of the person here and at the same time uh, we know that if the, it is the, uh, the elevator is slowing down, it means that there is acceleration. The acceleration is not zero, it is more than zero, but it is moving up, so it should be um, actually uh, the velocity is positive, uh, the direction of the velocity is positive. Um, acceleration, actually, it is acceleration we have, but it is minus it is negative because it is decelerating if it is accelerating acceleration become positive if it is decelerating uh, we uh, consider uh, um, acceleration sign as negative the, again after that what we conclude is that the sum of the forces on the person here in the elevator should be equal to mass 
times acceleration. So, total force means that, what is the total force? The total force, we have normal force here, plus negative mass, the negative, the, um, which is not positive because it's both of, because um, the weight of the person is in the opposite direction of the normal force. I have said that the forces that are pointing down, we consider their uh, sign as negative. So um, this is minus m times g. So this force plus this one, which is negative, should be equal to m times a. If I bring it into, uh, rewrite it into uh, this formula, let me rewrite this for you so you will understand what I have done. And the forces in the opposite direction. The forces in the opposite direction, it is normal force, which is considered as positive because it is pointing upward, and plus another force, because it is a sum, another force, it is your weight. It is mass times gravity. What is the sign of this force? Because it is pointing downward, so it should be negative. M times G. It should be equal to M times mass times acceleration. Now, I can rewrite again and calculate normal force here. So normal force, which is positive, equals to minus mg, I take it, I send this one into another side of the uh, equal sign here. So it becomes positive then, mg. Um, your normal force, the normal force here on the person would be much more uh, lesser than the, the weight of the person. Because we have normal force, equals to mass times gravity, I mean the weight of the person, minus mass times acceleration. I said that it becomes minus because you are decelerating, you are slowing down. So the sign of the acceleration here is negative, is not positive. If the acceleration is accelerating, it's um, speeding up, so you have to consider the sign here as positive. So then, um, of course, your, uh, the normal force in that condition would be much more greater than the uh, weight of the person. But here, because there is a deceleration, the acceleration would be negative, the sign of the acceleration. So the asset here is negative. So it um, becomes the normal force becomes smaller than weight of the object in the elevator.